A programmer may sometimes create private helper methods to assist public methods in carrying out their tasks. For example, if you had a class called car and it has a method called accelerate, so you know that if you call that accelerate method, it'll make your car go faster. However, you don't need to know what's going on under the hood of the car, and all the mechanical parts of the car are hidden in the private helper method. Let's take a look at an example of that in Java. In this class called person, we have two instance fields, name and await, and I have getter and setter methods for them. I'm going to add a new method, public void eat. It's going to be called if we want to make that person object eat something. And what we could do in this method is print out something to the screen. Name ate a sandwich. Okay. So, so by simply going to back to our person, person we created a person called Bob that weighs 200 pounds, and we can say a dot eat. And let's also print out Bob's weight by printing out system dot out dot print line a dot get the weight. And we could see that he ate a sandwich, but he's still 200 pounds. He didn't gain weight, so it makes sense to make Bob gain a little bit of weight. So weight plus equals 0 0.01. So just make him gain a little bit of weight, run the program again, and you can see his weight went up slightly. So let's now create a private helper method. Something that happens when you eat that you're not able to control and that you can't do directly is digest your food private void digest food and system that out that print line food is digesting I'm just gonna print that to the screen and we're gonna and we can't call this method from class demo I can't say after I eat I can't say a dot digest it's not an option but I am able to call the eat method and I know that when I eat I should eventually digest the foods. So in the eat method, let's call the private digest food method. And although it's a private method, we can call it inside our eat method because it lives in the same class, so it's accessible to it. So by going back to class demo and running this program, you can see that Bob ate the sandwich, he digested his food, and he gained weight. So that is an example of a private helper method.